you talking about it with Becky, and you mentioned theft. That's $400 million right there. Yeah, so you annualize theft, and you start to really get into something that a bunch of the other retailers kind of whisper about because no one really knows what to do. Uh, the big issue, and I know Home Depot has this issue too, is, is this notion of you steal it and you put it on Amazon. You'll notice that there are brands, for instance, that are really only available at, at Home Depot, and they're on Amazon as their own brand. Uh, for Target, I think that part of the problem with Target, and I think it's going to affect everybody except for Amazon itself, it is this inability to be able to make it so that the people who check out people are, are, are suddenly enforcers. That They weren't meant to be that. Uh, Brian Cornell is very much, a, I'd say, a, a person who does not want to put anyone, David, in a position where they may have to stop theft. So you've got a, a kind of open season on a store. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's certainly one uh, interesting, if you want to call it that, component of this uh, of this earnings report was what we call what they call shrinkage, which is basically stealing uh, and, you know, uh, groups, organized groups that came in and uh, to the stores and do that. But overall, the market is is going to grapple with whether this is target specific or whether this really is a reflection of the macro environment. You know, Jim, you and I had spoken in recent weeks about what I had heard anecdotally, I think you had as well, sort of a, some weakness in the consumer towards the yes. end of October. Yes. Yesterday's Walmart report may have sort of had you question that, yes. but when you look deeper into it, you saw grocery was a lot of the growth at Walmart. And in fact, they even cited the fact that income people with incomes over 100,000 were a big part of their share gain in grocery right. and that merchandise and apparel was not particularly strong. Target not as big in grocery and is certainly seeing some of that weakness in merchandise and apparel. I think that's a great point. I think that we never really got clarity on cadence in Walmart. It is very clear that October was a very weak month. We've been saying that. We can address the retail sales numbers, the national, which didn't seem to think weak. No, they didn't. Um, think Carl, uh, Brian Cornell is adamant november's been it, it has we're not that far in november but now we're starting to talk about holiday season and you have to reach some conclusions that something happened in the country during the month of october where it really hit home whether it be the layoffs of technology whether it be the discussion the general discussion of recession but then you try to jive that with what the numbers that we got today from the government which would indicate that there was robust retail sales and <laughs> uh, you know i, I tend to I tend to believe in Target and Walmart. Uh, now, Lowe's was good. Lowe's represents good spend on, on the home. Uh, but I, I have to tell you, I, when I look at the categories that were bad, so to speak, too hot in the national retail sales, some of them make no sense whatsoever. Furniture, that shouldn't be hotter. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely not. Um, clothing, uh, frankly, clothing's discounted everywhere. Great promotions. Uh, food at the, at, the, at the supermarket remains a real problem. That's a problem. Yeah. Uh, you're right about home furnishings. Home goods at TJX, by the way, which we haven't mentioned yet, down 16, right? That flies right in the face of the, the broader eco data that we're getting. Yeah. I mean, now I'm used to, to, uh, to TJX giving a, a kind of a confusing report. Uh, we know that they are the recipient of a lot of the problems a lot, of, a lot of the product that others get. Right, that, the inventory that, write downs result in TJX right. getting your. Right, they, and they don't get them yet. They product. tend to get them right at the time where, they, where people realize, holy cow, we have the wrong inventory. Uh, so this quarter, these, this print is not as significant. But David, there's absolutely nothing that I've heard that indicates that October was a, a banner month in the country. But no. you have to, if you start getting these negatives, but from Lael Brainerd, say, the vice chair, it's based on something. Yeah. And it's certainly not based necessarily on these uh, these grand scheme numbers that we're getting. No, the retail numbers that we got at 830, as you point out, look pretty good. X autos as well, uh, above what, but what were the expectations. Where the but body? that said, I, I've been, I continue to hear, now, things have not fallen off a cliff. No, not at all. But And you go into a holiday season that may be okay, but they're not where they were. No. Uh, and, and then the question becomes, are, who else are we going to hear from tomorrow? Uh, Macy's, BJ's, Gap, Kohl's. And you've got a, a bunch more coming Jim, right. in terms of the earnings that may give a better sense as to the strength of the consumer. Because it's not just about the retail stocks, but this is also, despite what was the strong retail sales number today overall, that it is about this, whether the consumer is starting to weaken at certain points. 
And then ultimately, a lot of people are going to want to take that and say, well, what does that mean for Fed policy? Right. And, and then you just get the same comments today uh, from Sanjay Marotra, Carl, uh, just now about Micron saying once again, there's too much inventory in the channel. Once again, they have to cut back on cap capital equipment. Um, and what this says is, if you want to know where weakness is, it is back in this so-called uh, work-from-home new office, where I heard from Logitech the other day that the new office at home is, is getting improved. But uh, Micron's a very big company, and this is not Sanjay Marotra's first time. It is not his second time. No. It is his third time. And Micron is the building block. So, I mean, if you want weakness, uh, buy anything electronic. Now, we hear from Best Buy next week. My understanding is it okay. Yeah. My understanding, uh, but one of the things that's happened, and I, I was uh, kind of grousing this morning, was, okay, so uh, we, we have people from crypto. And it's not crypto that's the problem. It's uh, the Fed that's the problem. Uh, we have people from s s uh, these stores. It's not the problem. It's the macroeconomic picture. But then, David, we have the consumer himself or herself pretty strong. So, I, I mean, it's well again.